Let's open up for questions. Is Fedor in the final the ideal scenario for you walking into January? You know, I, I feel like as a promoter, you know, like whoever wins, the matchup wins, and, and that's it. I mean, if he would have lost, Chell is a great promoter himself, and, you know, that would have been a great fight with him and Bader. Now, both of them, I think, would have been interesting matchups, but, you know, anytime Fedor steps into the cage, it's a special historic moment, and I think we'll have another piece of history on the 26th of January. I think Fedor I'll tell you, I think they both look good. You know, I think Chell. Chuck can take a punch. He 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 took he took some shots, and I tell you, I, I have not seen uh, those two guys scrap like that for in a while, and they're they're going at it. You know, in fact, Herschel said to me, he goes, "Is is Fedor mad at Chael? Like, did something happen to him?" I said, "Well, you know, they're tr they're trying to fight for the same prize to get to the finals." But um, in all seriousness, it's um, you know, it's Chael. Show me why you know he is who he is and. Fedor, uh, you know, he just stepped up, and I think that uh, it was a great win for him. Any more questions? Uh, Scott, yeah. Mm -hmm. Scott uh, this week, Chill went on a show, he got a debate whether Fedor's in his prime. Do you think Fedor made a statement that he's still in his prime? You know what? I'll tell you. I love the countdown shows that our guys have been doing. And um, you know when you, when I watch those countdown shows myself as a fan, and when when I saw him hit the mitts, I'm like, man, this guy still has that twitch speed. He's so fast. He's so explosive. He hits hard, and that's something that's not going to go away. The speed might go away, but the power doesn't go away. But the speed didn't. He still has that speed, you know. So to me, it's it's pretty impressive, man. And I think the reason why is that he just has not stopped training. He's always in shape and he's always trained and always, you know, like he's never stopped training for long periods of time. So, you know, it's uh, been a great journey for him. You guys know how, um, you know, the history of Fedor has been. It's been a, it's been a, uh, it's been a great ride. And to me, he's the greatest of all time. And he's got, he's got a worthy adversary on the 26th. Ryan Bader showed me that he could control a big, big man and and do what he needs to do to win. And, you know, he's going to try to do that to Fedor and can, you know, does Fedor have some tricks up his sleeve? And we'll see. It's going to be an interesting fight. Scott, when you guys are drawing up these brackets, mm -hmm. is this a possibility to think when, when you were looking at it? Is that one of the fights you considered that could be the final? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that a lot of people felt that Ryan Bader uh, was uh, a favorite to get in on his side and, uh, and, and Fedor as well. But, you know, if, if you know, Frank Mirror would have won. You know, I, I wouldn't have been surprised either. These are big guys throwing big punches, and you know, all it takes is one clip, and then it's over. So, you know, heavyweight division, you never know. These back-to-back uh, -back events seem to be working out well for Bellator. Do you plan on deciding the Hawaii event, working on more in the future? Well, I don't know if my staff would agree with you, <laughs> agree with me, <laughs> but it's been it's been really uh, taxing on the staff, and I'd like to thank them because they did a great job of executing this event, and the one last night. Um, I think that um, you know our, our original reason of doing the event so close was we didn't want to give one fighter uh, an advantage over the other, and and next week was busy in both buildings, so we had to do it all this weekend. But uh, it's 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 a taxing you know proposition, but at the end of the day, our guys pulled it off, and uh, you know if we have to do it again, we will. Uh, but that's the reason why we did it. We didn't want a fighter to say, oh, he had two two more weeks of rest than I did. And you know he had two more weeks of you know knowing who he's fighting, and so you know to me that that was that was the the reason why we did it back to back. I think we have a couple options there, but um, you know, Czech has really impressed me his last couple outings, and that's the check that I remember from before and that's the check that uh, that uh, we've been waiting to see and, and for him I'm really I'm really I told him when I was leaving when I was coming in here I said you know check I'm really proud of you because you really show me that uh, that you really want it and you're stepping up and and this is the check that we've been expecting and so to me look we you know we signed Minnikoff back right we have some great heavyweights here already um, we, and checks another guy, and then you know it's we're gonna we're gonna just have some great matchups in the future in, in 2019 in the heavyweight division. Is there a set date and venue yet for the Yes, it's uh, January 26th in Los Angeles at the Forum. Yeah. Scott, any update on the welterweight uh, Grand Prix? Certain dates we got the matchups. We don't have all the dates. So um, we just announced the um, fight uh, 
December 15th in Honolulu, where we had the Alima McFarland fight uh, against uh, Valerie. Um, Machida will be fighting our former champion, uh, Carvalho, at that fight. And um, Ed Ruth will be fighting Neiman Gracie at that fight. So that will be our second round of the tournament. That fight will be on DAZN. On Saturday night, we announced at a press conference in uh, New York City um, this past Thursday that on Friday night, it'll be on Paramount Live. It'll be Michael Chandler fighting Brett Primus. Frank Mir will fight Javier Ayala. And uh, we'll have three more fights added to that. There'll be two big tentpole events. And that will be free, uh, free for the troops. So we're doing a show called Bellator Salute the Troops. And it's going to be a great week of festivities in Honolulu. We're going to take all of our top athletes that are not fighting. And we're going to take them to the base and give value back to the, you know, uh, uh, the men and women uh, that protect this country. Scott Coker, um, uh, what would it mean, uh, in your view, if on January the 26th at the Forum, mm -hmm. Fedor Emelianenko managed to win the heavyweight mm -hmm. Grand Prix at the age of 42? Where would the, that put him in the pantheon of, of, the, of the greatest mixed martial artists? I, I already feel like he's the GOAT. He has nothing to prove. To me, he has nothing to prove. You know, He's doing this because he wants to compete, and uh, he's had some tough opposition. And you know what? Uh, if he won the tournament, I'd be happy for him. Um, and I think that uh, you know he, this is something he really, really wants. Listen, everybody knows that uh, you know Fedor's been fighting for a while. He was the king of pride, and uh, then he fought for me in Strike Force, and and now he's here in Bellator. But um, you know he's already proved everything. He's the goat, and whatever he does now will just add to the legacy of, uh, of Fedor. Did you think tonight, though, that the you know what you said, the, um, the way that he tossed Chael off him twice mm -hmm. when he was on the bottom, this, this hand speed, things like that, mm. were, that were very prominent tonight. Yeah, he looked like a fresh fighter that wanted it badly. You know, that, that's what I saw out there. I saw somebody that really wanted to win. And um, the fight had some great transitions back and forth, some great, you know, sweeps and hip throws and, and uh, you know, it's it takedowns. It was, it was just a great fight and it was action packed. I mean, I, I really enjoyed watching it. Scott, there was some reaction online that, oh, this fight was, was fixed. Can you talk to that <laughs> I mean, come on, that, you know. That that doesn't that doesn't even deserve a response. I mean, to the people that you know are saying it. And listen, Chell got clipped. You know, he told me he said, "Man, he hit me and he hit me really good." And and uh, you know, he was done. So um, that's it. But you know, with with Chell, you know, you like you you the thing with Tito. Oh, he let him go or something. Come on, that's why why would you do that? You're a professional athlete. You're a fighter. He wants to continue. He wants to go to the next round of the tournament. You know, so that's just all rubbish. What if people move to that? That's what. Sort of you know, it's like, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's, you know, they see Chael, he's got this character, and then, you know, he's, I think, you know, he, 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 they just feel like, you know, with Chael, it's just like this character, so maybe that's what they're thinking. But, you know, if you had Fedor punching you and kicking you and kneeing you like he was doing today, you, 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 that was real. That was not fake. Exactly what you said is going to be up to him. I mean, really, now that the heavyweight tournament, you know, for him is over, um, you know, he'll have to decide. You know, if he wants to fight at 205, we got some great fights for him at 205, and and um, but he's going to have to make that decision. You know, so we'll we'll talk to him. I think I think he might like that. I think he might like to fight at 205. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a fight I would like to see. Right? Maybe that's the fight we can put together in the future. But, uh, you know, let's get through the heavyweight tournament uh, and then, you know, we'll talk to Chael. But, you know, to me, it makes a lot of sense for him to go to 205 and, and fight our top guys. We saw 50 Cent here tonight. He was posting the past couple of days. He lost a deeper night now. He's playing Belgium for $2 million. What did you make of all that? Well, you know what? He called me yesterday and he said, hey, you know, what's going on with this? You know, and I said, well, the commission's involved and it's, you know, it's, there's a, there's a lot of steps to that whole situation, but, you know, I'd like to just, you know, I told him, I said, hey, let's just take care of it because it really has nothing to do with Bellator. That has to do with the commission and, and the fighter and, uh, and the league. So that's, that's their business. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think what he means by that is like him as like a manager or, you know, like he's, but I mean, 50 Cent has, you know, when he's talking to an athlete, that, that has nothing to do with Bellator. I, I can't tell 50 Cent what to say or not say, believe me. <laughs> yep. Scott, can you, uh, can you explain, you're on this own now, mm -hmm. how has been the public reaction to that? And also, what kind of changes should we expect, like, for, perhaps the European cause when the complaint is that they've been delayed in America? Mm -hmm. Any chances you won't have delays anymore? Yeah, I mean, there's a, um, <laughs> you know what, uh, it's, it's something that we're really, really, uh, close to making it perfect. We, th we thought we had it together on the uh, Channel 5 show in San Jose. DAZN's been a great partner. They, they have been uh, um, supportive and you know they have Japan. And like tonight the fight was there in Japan because it was on DAZN. Mm -hmm. I was watching it on DAZN live on my on my little phone as the fight was going on. It was pretty cool. Um, and uh, but you know when, when I think about um, uh, you know the, the partnership it's 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 exciting because the international territories that they want to go to, we would like to go as well. You know, the thing with Channel 5 in the UK, you know, it's we got cut off and that was unfortunate. And we didn't have it uh, dialed in for this fight because we have to run commercials and this could have run over and then we could have another, you know, Peppy the Pig situation. And I just didn't want to deal with that. So uh, it is on Channel 5 now. It's a 12-hour delay from yesterday and today. Uh, but I think, you know, in the next month or so, before December, we will have, um, you know, this all worked out and down. I promised Gareth that we would have it fixed, so, I'm Gareth. Off you. Yes, exactly. Uh, one last <laughs> How about the five-round uh, main events? I know we, I keep asking you, mm -hmm. and each, you keep saying we're going to give us an Oh, I see you mean as far as, like, uh, like last night, for example. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. any chance you're going to change that to the five rounds? Yeah, I mean, it's something that, you know, we, we have talked about, but we have not committed to it. We are having the five-round main event for the welterweight tournament because Roy's in the tournament and he is our champion, so the, the title will continue with the champion, uh, whoever the champion is, so it'll be a title fight every time. But, um, you know, as far as the main event being five rounds, just to be, have a main event be five rounds, uh, we're still going to hold it to our championship belts. How many Russians guys we will see in the next uh, you know what? That's a good question. I'm not sure, but uh, you know, listen. We have a lot of great Russian fighters here in Bellator. Kreshkov is is amazing. We have uh, four or five fighters we just signed from Fedor's group. We have Fedor Melyanenko. Uh, we have Tokov, the fighter you saw today. So, you know, we're going to continue our commitment to the Russian athletes. Scott, was tonight the last fight on the best contract? Uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, um, I thought he looked good. He was entertaining, and you know, I could I could probably have Rich or or, or uh, Mike get back to you on that one. What are your thoughts Prince. on the other promotions that the zone is working with, with Combat Day America, as with KSW? Any thoughts of possibly a co-promotion? Um, you know what? I mean, KSW, we have a good relationship with Martin. We've talked about it. It's just the timing doesn't work because of the, you know, the the fight here would be two in the morning over there, just the same thing like the, the broadcast for Channel 5. Um, so it, it's tough, but you know what, I think that uh, it's a possibility, but it's not something that's uh, eminent in the future. One last question. What do you think about another brother, Emilianenko in Bilal? Alexander, um, you know what, I think he is having, he had some problems getting licensed here in the States, and I don't think that that will go away. So I think that, you know, he, he has some issues to take care of. Thank you guys. Okay, thank you. So,